What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad out here at Action Sports Bar and Grill, Kent Washington, with another follow me to work day in the life of a food truck owner, um, bar owner, restaurant owner. As always, if you guys like the video, please do hit the like, uh, comment, let us know what you think, subscribe to the channel, check us out on social, stop by the bar. You know, say hey, call us, you know, old school on the landline. We still got one of those, whatever, you know, we appreciate it. Uh, uh, this video is uh, life before the action food truck. That's what we would log this one under. Uh, it was a pool tournament day. A big part of what we do at the bar and the restaurant is we're also like a pool hall. Uh, they have all these little satellite leagues all over the country, and then they come together and do these huge tournaments. Same thing for darts or axe throwing or skee ball or anything, right? They all have these uh, local leagues, and these are three of the leagues that operate uh, out of our bar. There's actually a couple of more that are around here. I know that play league names, but right now we only currently have three in there, which is plenty because for our bar, we shoot, we have league shooters in there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday of every week. And honestly, most of the year we have something in there on Monday nights as league, for league as well too. So that's five of the seven days we're operating some type of pool league in there. And so they're a big part of what we do and we appreciate our pool players and we, we love them all from all the different leagues. They all have different personalities, the leagues themselves, and also the shooters who are to who belong to these leagues. I ain't gonna talk shit about y'all, but I know y'all talk shit about each other. <laughs> APA players think tap players are snobs, and BCA players think they both suck, and so uh, there's a little bit of that uh, interleague rivalry. But as an operator, I don't really care as long as we can keep it civil. Uh, and y'all can share the space. We we like to have them all in, shoot, um, and eat, and drink, and do all the, the fun things at the bar. So uh, this was a pool tournament day. The thing I love about um, pool tournament days is it puts asses in seats. And as an operator, that is always part of what you're trying to get done is just get people in your place. The pool tournaments, um, depending on what league you're in, can have anywhere from three or four to eight or nine players per team. And uh, if you have 10 teams in there, you can see how for a small neighborhood bar, this helps kind of uh, just get the place full. And uh, a full place always attracts uh, more people. It's just kind of how it goes. The other thing that's nice about it is if you're a bar that isn't getting um, new customers, then you're going backwards, and I y'all hear me say this all the time. But if you're, if if you haven't seen it in your numbers yet, you will. If you are, if all you have is a, a regular base that is continuously shrinking, um, you need to be bringing in new people uh, and maybe even new players. So these pool tournaments for us are a good opportunity to see people that we might only see two or three times a year, and. Uh, let them know that if they're in the area, that we can always be an alternative home bar for them if they're traveling down from Bellevue, which is 20 minutes away, or from Issaquah, which is 30 minutes away, or even further up north, we have some of our regulars who, you know, are in Monroe or Everett, and when they're in our neck of the woods, um, they, they stop in there because it's their kind of home away from home, and that's always a good spot to be, you know, when people are an hour away, but they think of your bar when they're in that neck of the woods. So, special guest is in town. Yay! College graduate, first part, first degree done, on to the next one. So, back at it, y'all. Say hi, Sky. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know she was going to be guest starring in this video, but here she is. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to tell them what we're doing today. Anyways. And you just be in frame and be cool back here. Uh, we got a pool tournament out there today. Uh, so we got the ladies running the show. Uh, it's nice when you have the 
your 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 uh, all stars on because then you know everyone's going to be taken care of. So we got the bar manager out there, Jade. We got the general manager out there with Jill. We got the daytime supervisor out there with Drea, and uh, got my kitchen manager in the back right now. So the guests are all all well taken care of. We like having pool teams in because they keep the place full, and uh, we like a full house. So. Sky comes in uh, when she helps out in the summer. She does a little bit of everything, right? So, yeah, just, about. just about everything. So today, um, she uh, helped set everything up in the morning. Got here early with her mom and uh, got the place looking excellent and clean. And uh, like always, the cool thing is, is now even though we're a bar, um, we can have. Um, Folks who are over 18 but not quite 21 uh, help us out if they're in the back of the house type of position. So doing administrative stuff in here today in the office with me, totally acceptable. So um, it's kind of cool because, you know, hanging out in the bar isn't the worst thing when you're young, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. So um, what we got on the agenda today, my day is that I'm off today, so I won't be at the bar except from here um <laughs> but uh the ladies are running the show so me and sky are going to get out of here leave it in their very capable hands um we got uh plenty of projects to work on at the house uh, still tightening up the website and uh, now i'm getting lessons on social media and uh website stuff from a youngster who, which is what i need because my ass is too old to be knowing what youtube and tiktok is about on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, now that I got my consultant here, my media consultant, we're gonna get together and uh, she'll help me out with the website later on. We'll, we'll knock out some stuff at the house and have a constructive day off at the crib. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys later for a little smoke session though. Yeah, bye, bye, bye oh, guys. I guess bye, I don't know, are you still talking? <laughs> yeah, we're still talking. This oh, is okay. this B-roll B stuff, <laughs> all right. Right back at it like a crack at it. I can barely see my shit cause my phone's trapped. It's crazy. Hey, the streets is hot. Gotta take a chance, hit the slot. Might deck a bitch for the pot. Think I'm falling off, bet I'm not. Yeah, it's a hot boy summer. Streets is hot. Gotta take a chance, hit the slot. Might deck a bitch for the pot. Think I'm falling off, bet I'm not. Yeah, it's a hot boy summer. Yo, running out of clock, dark tints, everything stock, like Minecraft, nigga, move a block, put you on the bottom like the rock, took a long time just to pop, got a couple blue faces, now they wanna mop, gotta run with it non-stop, they wanna see me walk like a crip, I need it fast like my whip, peel the roof back, nigga, then I dip, like my throwback phone, watch it flip. Call Dromar for the juice for the sip. We got another hit that these niggas can't skip. When you this cold, they wanna catch you on a slip. When you iced out, they wanna melt you for the drip. Air them out like Alaska and tell them don't trip. Gotta take a chance at the slot. Might deck a bitch for the pot. Think I'm falling off, bet I'm not. Yeah, it's a hot boy summer, streets is hot. Gotta take a chance at the slot. Might deck a bitch for the pot. Think I'm falling off, bet I'm not. Yeah, it's a hot boy, summer, summer. Seafood boil in the pot. In the pot. King crab legs coming high. coming high. I remember eating prawns on the block. Yeah. We playing cops and robbers and you always was the cop. How you from the way, but you don't know me. Real twin legs, nigga. My name's L23. So with these leagues, you're going to have typically the uh, owner operator of the league, whether it's a dart league or it's a pool league or like we said, it's ski ball or uh, gosh, some trivia leagues it could be a host of different things right um whenever you have that 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 vendor or that owner operator in your building i always try to make some kind of connection with them even if it's just as simple as exchanging uh, personal cell phone numbers because those are the people who are going to help you uh, create business and opportunities people who are already working I'm talking about the operators who are grinding, who are, you know, putting effort and investment and money and time and energy and love into their businesses. Those are people um, to stay connected to because 
that's how things seem to pop up. Those opportunities or different opportunities often come from me by just association with other people who are also trying to grind and and do more and ambitious folks. So um, I gave that one for free. But uh, it's nice to have the operators and the owners when they're in your building just to, even if it's just let them know you appreciate them, just to get a little bit of feedback on what's going on with them and how the, the um, you know, the arrangement is working out for them as well too, because ultimately what I'm looking for is win-win situations. I want people to love coming to do stuff at my place and I want to be able to make money when they do that so that everybody is winning. Um, when I have found in my short five years of entrepreneurship, <coughs> legal entrepreneurship, <laughs> 100% legal entrepreneurship. What I've found is that, um, <laughs> got sidetracked. Um, but I forgot what I was gonna say, just like that. And I'm gonna have to run that back on the tape to remember what I was. I seriously cannot remember. I literally cannot remember what I was about to say. <laughs> I'm really going to have to run the tape back. Uh, I would say the pro tip in this, uh, I guess, has to do with how important the pool tournament is to an establishment like ours that's a sports bar that dedicates so much square footage to our pool tables that how important pool tournaments are for that and it just speaks to the bigger point which is the pro tip and that is don't lose focus of the main thing what i mean by that uh the food truck is great i love the food truck it gives us a chance to expand our food we can do feeding ministry with it. Uh, it's another way to generate sales and marketing. It's it's beautiful. I love it. And I'm super excited to have another one coming. Um, but you can't lose focus of the main thing. And the main thing is the bar and the restaurant. The bar and the restaurant is what makes the whole thing go. So while I can be excited about growth and maybe looking for uh, new locations and or a commissary kitchen or uh, expanding the food truck fleet. All of those things are cool. All of those things are exciting. Getting involved with nonprofits, those are all fun things, but you can't lose focus on the main thing, right? My staff hears me use analogies all the time. I'm married to these businesses, they're my wife. That's, it's happy, happy wife, happy life, right? And so I can't be distracted by uh, some of the other things that are very interesting to me and have cool potential to help the main thing. You can't lose focus on the main thing. And I think that goes further than just for an operator, owner of a business. I think it goes for somebody who is trying to make their next move professionally in any way. Um, if you're a bartender and you're stacking, working on a side hustle and you're trying to figure out what your next move is, don't lose fact, lose focus on the thing that's paying the bills and taking care of you right there. Uh, a lot of successful food truck owners, especially, were able to launch their food truck career because they didn't just drop their fucking main job. They stayed in that main job and they worked and, and, and made money, uh, which helped support the thing that they were dreaming of doing. They kept that insurance and they kept PTOs and uh, they didn't lose focus on the on their main source uh, in pursuit of the side thing, which is, I think, uh, a pro tip, <laughs> honestly. I, it's something I have to remind myself all the time as an operator to not get enamored with wanting to do other things so much that I forget what allows me to do the other things to begin with. So that's my pro tip for today. Uh, I hope that, you know, I I guess I would just say that you, when it comes to pool leagues or dart leagues or 
any kind of league. I think that they can be a huge, uh, you know, help to your business, depending on what your concept is. Hell, axe throwing, like I said, darts. There's a lot of things league-wise that could, I think, really help your bottom lines, line as an operator. All I would suggest, my little two cents on it, is that you make sure that you're able to strike a balance because if it uh, changes your concept or takes over your concept of what you're really trying to main focus be, then I think it's counterproductive. But if you make it fit in what you're already trying to do, then let's go. Bring all the leagues in. Uh, you know, I'd suggest getting a coordinator to someone who's kind of a point person to talk to the leagues. That has been helpful for me in the past. These people can, uh, especially if you can attach some kind of financial incentive to it, um, then you have someone who's working hard for you to try to make sure these leaks um, can operate smoothly in your spot. So there you go. All right, y'all. See you on the next one.